Hi everyone, Marion Emberson here. Um, okay, so from my last little haul that I got from scrapbook.com, not that one, I don't know when I got that, but I haven't opened it, naughty me. Um, these I have used, love them, absolutely love them. This one I haven't used and I so want to use it and I'm going to use it with my slimline stripe dies or strips. Um, I went for these ones and there's probably other ones out there like it. One, because of the price. Um, can't remember how much they were now. Two, because you can get so many all in one go. And I really like that rather than just doing like one at a time, etc. These, I think I mentioned previously, I bought loads of these. They'd done a, a big block, 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 group, whatever, um, of them where you could just buy all their different ones. And these are the only ones I can find at the moment. I think there might be another one or two. Um, but I just thought I'm just going to cut loads of these out. And then just start playing and see what we come up with. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting out. I'm going to open this up um, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I cut some strips. Look at all these lovely strips. And that isn't even all of them. I actually used sherbet. I used, did I use all the colours in sherbet? I think I used all the colours in sherbet. I used most of the colours, I think, in warms. I used a couple of colours from Christmas. And I think, actually, because I was starting to get bored, <laughs> cutting strips. I probably didn't need to cut so many, but I've got them now. Um, I saw this colour. I had to... Oh, look at that. I didn't see that one. Um, okay, so <laughs> they're the ones that I used for this. Now, I'm not going to lie... I used my Sizzix switch for this because the thought of putting them in through the big shot and cranking it through, I was like, oh my goodness, it's going to take ages. And, it, you know, I was able to do like um, all four in one go because obviously it's a nice big plate. Um, and then I decided to give it a go at doing two, so two pieces of card at a time and it worked beautifully. I did go forward and then backwards. That's the joy of the switch. Um, although you can do that on the big shot, obviously. Um, which obviously sped it up. But it still took a while. But then I think you'll admit there's there's quite a lot. Quite a lot of strips there, isn't there? Look. Now, I would suggest as well, look, look at all the bits, all the little hairy bits that come out. So I am going to just keep sort of dropping them and getting rid of some of those hairy bits if they don't annoy you don't worry about it it don't matter but they annoy me so i'm just sort of getting rid of them while i can and i'll probably still find some i just need to find a nice little container to put these in now oh look i've got this could i use that if i take that out and that out do you know what? Just for this actual session, I can use that. I don't know if you can see that. I don't even know where I got it from, actually, but it's just a little rotating doodah, and it just holds a few things. I'm trying to get organised. Now I'm back in the craft room. I'm trying to be more organised. Okay, so what shall I do first? Well, I feel... Oh, <sighs> Let's just grab some of my cardstock, some of my WoW cardstock, because one of the things I love about the WoW cardstock is it is lovely and bright white. So if I wanted to just go ahead, let me just grab some. I don't know what I'm going to grab here. Just grab a few um, because they're all different sizes, these, aren't they? So if I wanted to just go ahead and do some diagonals, but I want some white in between. This is beautiful just to leave the white in between. So if I was going to do, 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 do this sort of thing. So let's just go ahead and just, this is what I love about the different sizes. Just make sure you get it around the right way. Because when you die cut them, you'll have, not that you can see it, but sort of like a chamfered edge on the right side. And you'll see it looks a bit rougher on the other side. If you get it wrong, don't worry about it. Um, obviously, you don't need to have strip dies. You can, you know, just cut them with your trimmer. 
but when you're cutting one, you know, the amount like this, it's like, yeah, so much easier. Right, so I'm just going to go ahead and just do a simple striped card to start with. So I will just whiz through. I'm going to pick a few colours and then and sizes and then I will whiz through. Okay, so we've got a lovely, lovely striped card. I really like that, actually. You, there's some colours I probably wouldn't have put together there, but I think it works because the white breaks it up, so it looks really nice. Nice? Nice. Um, <laughs> I just made sure that I used, like, the different sizes. I am going to check, because I did notice that two of the dies are exactly the same size stripe. So, strip, stripe, strip. Um... But I'm sure that's right. I just thought they were four different sizes. But anyway. So all these bits. Don't get rid of these. I'm going to keep all these little bits. And then try and do something with them afterwards. So something like this. I am going to go and find something that I can put on here. Just quite simply. Um, maybe just a die cut saying. So I'll just set that aside for now. Um, there's going to be lots of music in this video because I'm going to be whizzing through. I might even have to do it in two parts because I've got so many ideas. Um, but yeah, there's there's something else I want to do now. And it involves this, the Hello. Let's open it. I just love this. I love the size of it. Um, now... These are obviously done to American sizes. I work on UK sizes, which are slightly smaller. We're slightly thinner but longer, whereas um, North American are wider and shorter on the card sizes. So, um, let's just peel this bad boy off. Come on, be careful. Sometimes it's like... I just feel when it's in a packet, it doesn't need this much tape on it. I'm sure they've tested it out and they decide that it needs that much tape. I don't know. But I just feel like it don't need that much tape. And little tip, if you're if you wanna if you're not sticking it back on and you just want to drop it in, put some talcum powder on that and that'll stop it being sticky and you can drop it back in. So let me look at my normal card panel size. If I take this, this is the biggest. So if I do it this way, that will work lovely. So I'm having to quickly brush, brush, brush. Right, I am going to... I'm just going to do loads of stripes again. Um, I'm probably going to do diagonal again because I pretty much like that. And obviously this is going to be card on card. You could just use scrap paper and then put the strips straight on the, the scrap paper. And then that just gives you a backing for it all to hold together. Or, hmm, you could line them all up, put some um, doodah across it, you know, this stuff, mint tape, and then hold them all in place. But I think that might be a bit fiddly. That's all right if you want to go, go up and down with some of them, like have some coming up, some like laying flat. I might do it with a bit of scrap. Let's just see if it... Because I think I'm going to get the stiffness from the the card strips. So I don't need it. Let me just go... Oh, perfect. Look at that. <laughs> Can you tell I was a curtain maker? <laughs> oh, dear. I've got an eye for it. Okay. Right. So I am just going to use this bit of paper. I'm going to whiz through again. Let's get myself a few more bits out. Keep those bits over there. And away I go.
Right, so I've covered it all now. Now, I'm, go I'm gonna try some ink. I think it'll work. So I wanna make sure that, that that was big enough for that. I could have done it so that it was only that much and I didn't have to do all of this, but I'm gonna try and get two out of this. So I'm gonna chop this down so it's a bit neater because it's not quite, um, I think what I'll do, I'll go in with the scissors first and chop these bits off. And then I'm just gonna trim it round. Okay, so I keep all my bigger bits. Not worried about these teeny tiny bits. I'll get rid of those. I'm just gonna trim this so it's a little bit. I need to make sure that one side is definitely straight. Let's have a look. I think that looks pretty good. If I just trim a little bit. It's hard to tell until it's up against something. I can always strain it up afterwards. Oh, that's quite out, isn't it? But that looks... Yeah, I think that might be out up there a little bit. So I'm going to go in. Let's put that there. Bring me the big shot in a minute. Let's just put that on. It's taking a bit of a paste in. And that just looks lovely. What have I done with my dye? Have I sat on it? There we go. So I'm going to put that in the centre. Ish. <laughs> Probably not. Or if you're not sure, just offset it. If I offset it and then I can put a little something there. No. No. Just, just do what you were going to do, Marion. Honestly, my poor old brain goes from one thing to another. I'm just going to run it back. Okay, this is looking promising. Do, do, do. Come on, you. Right, let's get that off of there. I squashed it a little bit <laughs> when I did that. It's probably got a bit of sticky on it in places. Now, I know some people say to keep these bits and stick them back in, but I might do. I don't know. I'll see what it looks like. So if I just keep those down there. And that, see, even that just looks gorgeous. So that, on my, where is it? My folded card front, I can literally just have that. Oh, that's come unstuck. I'll just put a little bit of sticky back on there. So that looks lovely. And then I can just have a little sentiment there. Um, another thing I was just thinking, sometimes, so I, I love white space and I love plainness, so, you know, it's everybody's choice, isn't it? But if you want to take away a bit of that, I need a, I need a mat to lean on that. Hang on a minute. Right, this is an old bit of mouse mat. Let's just see. Where's my ruler? Under here. Under this mess. So if I just wanna, I could be clever and, well not clever, but sensible, but I think I can eyeball it. And let's just. I 
don't know if you can see that. I'll be honest, I can just see it. <laughs> I feel like it needs some ink a bit, you know, like a ball one. I don't know where they are. Oh, this is my trouble because I'm not organised yet up here. What about this thing? Has that got a... Mm, now, that's a pickup doodah. This might actually rip it. Let's let's have a look. Let's go for it. I just needed something a bit more. Now nah, that's going to rip it. <laughs> actually, it gives a nice texture. I might just leave it like that. <laughs> gives a bit of a texture. Mm. Nah, ruined. Ruined. But it's not ruined because I'll keep that and I'll chop it down. I could just use it. I could turn it inside out and use the other side. Look, Marion, next time you're going to try something, make sure you've got the right equipment. Because a ball doodah. This, this is too thick for it to go. I need a thinner one. I have got the old um, Cricut one somewhere. Or cry cut. Um, that used to do the job lovely. Because it had a lovely point to it. But anyway, do you know what? For this purpose, I'm just going to flip this over. I like it plain, Sandy, isn't it? <laughs> and then I'm just going to stick this down on here. So let me just go ahead and do that. I do wonder if I could have got away with it on actual cardstock rather than paper. I might try that in another one. Let's get this on. Oh, Marion. And you've got your glasses on. Right. So let's just stick that there and I'll think about stamping that. So there's that one, that one. And then there's this one, which can obviously go on there. Nice. And that's where I can then put these guys back in, but I've just got to get them in the right way, <laughs> right order. So that one goes there. Have I lost a bit here? Oh, I've lost a little bit. Darn. Oh, well. Oh, well. So the hello went there. Did it go like that or on an angle? Slightly on an angle, I think. That'll do. And then this one would have gone there. So I've lost a little bit of my pink which was the pink that was sticking off there. But okay, I think I can get away with it. And then let's just line that up. Does that go like that? It goes, goes at an angle again, doesn't it? Should just... Oh, there's probably a bit there. Oh, that's it, look. So a bit there. I suppose what you could do when it comes out of the thing, you can just pick it up with your um, your press and seal paper. Okay, so let me stick this down, then I'll go in. See if I can find that little pink bit. Probably won't. Okay, so when you glue it down, make sure you go into all these little bits as well. Okay. But I do like it when you can get like a twofer because it's like half the effort for double the results, which is nice. And this is why I don't bother putting those bits back in. I mean, I, it does look nice. I think it would have looked just as nice without them. But, hey. Um, so, what have I done? I've done three cards. I, I usually do, I try and do three cards. Although, previous email? Uh, email? Previous video I've done, I only done one card. Really quick and simple. Um, but I just like that I'm getting, like, you know, this is a two for one. So, that's great. I need to just stamp something on here. And then, oh, see, I didn't use my outline bit, did I? Oh, if I just, oh, I just feel like I need to just go, hello. 
Um, there was another, oh, do you know what I did want to try? Right, I'll come back to that. Because I got this, and I actually think I've just put this in my basket again to buy. So I need to double check and take it out because I've just found it. So I'm exactly the same as you guys. I buy things twice. I don't mean to. You see something you like and you think, mm, go for it. Right, so I am going to pick out what I feel are... Well, I know I had Christmas, but some of them I weren't that keen on. So I am going to just whiz through this and then you'll see me the other side with it done. Right, before I go ahead, <laughs> I realised I hadn't cut any of the actual red out of the Christmas one. But I also found a little um, thing that you can do because cause I'm cutting them in two, um, two layers now because I'm lazy. Um, the top one hadn't cut completely through so I thought oh do you know what I'll just stick it back in and put it through again and as I put it in I just pressed it like that and then that started like separating it all again so it's like I've cut it with the lines with my thumb so yeah just thought I'd tell you that Okay, so I'm back. I've been trimming as I go. So let me just take these off. Now I'm going to do what people tell me to do. I do listen to you guys when you give me hints and tips. Um, and I'm going to rub it with a baby wipe. Now, get off. Um, because it's a 3D embossing folder. So... Let me just, do you know, I've got so hot in here, I've had to take my cardi off. Um, right, let's just get that out of the way. Now, I don't know if I want to rub it on the top with a baby wipe. So I think I'm just going to do the back. Just got to find my baby wipes first. Okay, this isn't a very wet baby wipe. It's quite dry, to be fair. So I don't know if it's doing anything. Oh, do you know what? J just do it and see what happens. Okay. I've got to try and remember my setup for 3D because I can't remember. So I'm not going to go... Am I going to go all the way? If I place it in there and then pull it down, then I can see where that's going to be. And I quite like it hanging off like that. Right, let me just... I'm just going to get rid of some of this. Now, if I remember rightly, do you know what? I'm going to do it, and if it don't work, then I know that that weren't right. So I've just got my multi-purpose platform, and then I'm just going to put a doodah on the top. I can't remember. Okay, that feels all right. If you do this, and as you're cranking, it's like really hard to get through, don't force it. It ain't worth it. Right, let me just put my glasses on and have a little look. <gasps> it looks gorgeous. Oh, but there's something else I want to do, but I don't want to ruin it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my goodness. So, my other thing that I wanted to do was sand it because this cardstock is white core. So if you sand it, you're gonna get the white come through. But this just looks so nice, I don't know if I wanna do that. But now I am thinking of something else. <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes, Marion. Oh, give me a minute. I'm going to sand it. This is just a little block of wet and dry, not that I'm gonna wet it. 
I'm going to do it really gently, just in case. Let me just start. Oh, actually, it gives it a really nice vintage look. I was just going to flick it with these. So I'm going a little bit harder. This is why I love white card, um, white core cardstock. So that sort of stays all modern. This looks all vintage. Yeah, I'm pleased I've done this now. What do you think? Do you prefer it? I think I, it makes it pop more as well. It makes it stand out more. But I am going to do a little flick. Let's see. I love these. These are the starry colours. Oh, I've got the pastels as well, but... Let's go, hmm, let's go that one, blue gold, mix it up, get it nice and mixed, and then I just want to do some flicks, that looks nice. And then I just need a Christmas sentiment, which I'll have to find later. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? That's lovely. When I'm flicking, I always feel like I want to keep going. <laughs> and it's like, stop, stop marrying. I could have masked this off so it only went on this. And thinking about it, maybe I should have done that. And I always feel like we're flicking. It's like, if you're a smoker, you'll know you can just, you know, when you flick your ash off, it's a bit like that. Some people do this. It's entire, And also they do that as well. It's entirely up to you how you like to flick. But oh, I'm really pleased with that. Okay, so. Okay, so let me just clear this I need to give me paintbrush a proper wash which I will do <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do a part two because I've got a few other ideas look so okay so that needs where have I got some stamps I must have oh I've got these and I? I forgot to use them uh, da, da, da. I don't know if anything goes with that. That one, I was thinking, thanks for everything, and just having that on there, which I do like that. So I'll probably die cut that and put that on there. That needs a little... Do you know what? It don't even need anything on there at the moment. Oh, oh. <laughs> here I go. I'll start thinking of something else now. This is going to be the longest video in the world. I feel like I want to just bring in some glitter. Oh, what have I got? What have I got? Let me see if I can find. I need a, a clear, a clear sparkle. Let me grab some ink. Right, this one is called Crystal. Let me grab a bit of paper. Oh, someone's mowing their lawn. I like that sound. Right, this is. Um, the Well Sparkles in Crystal, just a nice iridescent, and I'm going to use my Quickie Glue pen, it's just, that's it, and then I was just thinking, I just saw the lines and I thought, if I go into the lines, and I don't feel like I need to do the other bits, but I'll find out when I do it. So let's just have a little look-see. Because you just feel it's Christmas, it needs something. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so let me just go ahead. So 
see when you just want to make it that little bit more special i could go in and do some of the little veins but i'm not gonna i think that's nice don't want to overload it now <laughs> i'm gonna keep going you watch okay yeah i think i'll do a part two because there is some other things i want to play with and show you so um yeah do come along and join me for part two so i hope you've enjoyed this i'm going to go ahead um stamp a little sentiment on there die cut something die cut something and then um i'll show you them all finished at the end so thanks ever so much for watching take care bye